Take it on out of here. A little how you do that does involve this thing, okay? Known as a man way, and it's basically this is where the miners are going to climb up to their work areas each day. Their objective is to advance the mine at least six feet a day. And if you really were to climb up here right now, it only goes up about 30 feet or so. At that point, look left and right of you, you're looking at another tunnel like this one. It's a miner's heading. It's much smaller in some cases. But the point is that the two of them are driven right along together. That is going to keep the air moving down the gangway, goes up the last chute, right back out that miner's head. Just simply a little thermal dynamics in there for you. I won't use any more big words like that, okay? <laughs> now, I'm sure that some of you are already aware of basically where coal comes from, okay? Now, a funny story about that is I ask my second grade groups all the time, where does coal come from? And they say, the gift shop. And I go, well, there's a little more. They say every time, it's pretty, <laughs> without question. However, there's a little more involved. Now, you just have vegetation. Uh, actually, uh, it's vegetable matter is what, what you're really looking at. That changed, morphed over to gas, and that gas changed the carbon and gave you peat that uh, bituminous coal and then gave you hard coal. We won't go through all that. I'm just going to sum it up by saying vegetation, all right? Uh, you have trees, leaves, ferns, things like that, and this is arguable. However, uh, uh, but geologists have determined through carbon sampling that coal in this particular area is about 302 million years old. And I have an, actually an example of a uh, little of that of vegetation I mentioned in fossil form right for you, right down here. Take a look at this and look at that for mine. Right above my head, move my ladder out there, you have a petrified tree up here. This is the product of over millions of years of heat and pressure that this tree is condensed down into the mineral form you're looking at today, okay? And there actually was a piece that broke off from right about here. At one time that extended right down to here. Now, actually, that piece fell out. They took it to the Smithsonian Institution and put it on display. It must be really important. I don't know what's going on there, guys, because we had a fossil outside that's as big as a truck, and I didn't see that down there. So I don't know what the fascination is, but they really do have it down there. Now, in any event, where I have my hand right now, you may recall back at the Mammoth, I mentioned about this top and bottom rock phenomenon. Well, I know it's hard to understand because you can't physically see it. But right here in this gangway, it's pretty simple. You're looking at the top rock here, the bottom rock's there. Right here was all solid coal at one time. The vein runs at that 60 degree pitch I mentioned and heads 400 feet to the surface. Everything applies here that I said back there. But you may be asking yourself, why did they stop mining if there's all this coal laying around? And well, what happened is this vein pitched down to about 10 inches, you may know, right here, and then pitched off all together. That's what you're looking at right here. In other words, you're looking at solid rock. Miners don't get paid all a bunch of rocks around. So they moved on to something else. Now, kind of odd, if you really kept going, maybe another 50 feet, this would have opened up another, imagine, 10 foot wide seam of coal. sit on that perch just like him and his pal Ben. You got Ben and Willard obviously. Reach over to what's called a shoot board, all right? Now, I know you guys can't see this shoot board, but I have another one just like it down there. Uh, without blind it. Oh. So I grab that thing, pull it out of there, and the coal's gonna start flowing out into the four ton buggy. A little bit of a trick behind all this. It's important that you keep your feet inside the buggy like he has his, because you're wearing one of those oil wick lamps on your head, and in that case, you're gonna be working with about this much light. And you start filling that buggy, it gets tremendously dusty in here. And more like this much light to work with. All right. And just the light goes out. A little, oh a little less than this much light to work with. There's a ghost standing over there. Oh. <laughs> I can't see. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'll tell you what. If they really haven't lived until you've seen about 50 second graders in there with those light up sneakers on. It looks like a disco tech in here. It's done. One of the funniest things I ever saw. Yeah. Mm hmm.
1930s. Every, all the miners were working, all the collieries, all the breakers were working. Everything was going pretty hunky-dory. All of a sudden, the Great Depression hit the area. Everything was shut down. All the men were out of work, so they had to make means to make money for their family. So they decided, we're going to go and mine our own coal. Because they were, coal burst opened up. Only miners were allowed to go to that hospital. Women and children were not. Later, years down the road, then they made it into a general hospital that...